Hey everyone, it's Katja here and we're back with some more furniture tutorials. Rob Woody is definitely back in style and this week we are not going to paint it. Yes, you heard it. That's the first time. I'm not going to paint a piece. I love raw wood, but unfortunately most raw wood end up orange or yellow once you put a top coat on it. This week we're going to take household bleach and bleach the wood and it's going to look amazing. I hope so. I saw this entry table at a local shop and I had to have it. It needed to be updated and it had these outdated tiles that were definitely going to change. You're going to need to give a good sanding when bleaching a raw wood. It's very important to get rid of any varnish or top coat your piece has. This is going to be the hardest part and using the surf prep made this job much easier. I used the stripper for the drawers because I was having a hard time getting in those edges. If you cover it up with plastic wrap, it does the job faster. I left it on for about 30 minutes, then used a scraper and it worked great. One thing to note is when you use stripper, you're going to have to go back in there to remove it with mineral spirits. Now you can remove the dust to get ready for the bleach. Now for the bleaching part. I didn't want to use my chalk paint brushes for this, so I purchased a Worcester 2-inch brush at Home Depot. Now make sure you have some heavy-duty gloves and I also recommend a mask and working outside. Pour some bleach into a cup Make sure it's a plastic and good for bleach. And simply start painting it on like a paint. I was pretending that I was painting this piece with a bleach. I was just going back and forth. Try to have even coverage for this to keep the bleach consistent. It's very important. This is really all there is to it. You don't need any fancy skills for this so far. Just a mask, gloves, outdoor and a bleach. But just go outdoor. Once you're done covering it up, you're going to want to leave it to dry in the sun. I wouldn't do this project indoor and without direct sun on my piece. This is just my friendly tip. After an hour in the sun, here is what it looked like. You can already see the white coming in and now we just have to repeat this process until we get the color we want. So now we do the same thing all over again. And I let that dry and did a third coat of bleach. You can do as many coats as you want, so you do as many as you think you need or you like. I 
I stopped at three coats and was loving the tone of the wood now. It looks so good. I love it. Now we have to remove all that bleach from the table. We do this with just plain water. You can feel when the water gets full of bleach and needs to be changed. I had to do this several times. And now I'm going to use a super fine sandpaper to smooth everything out with my surf prep. Okay, we got all the hard work done and now it's time to bring that piece inside and work on those tiles. Because those tiles, somebody might like them, but they're not my cup of tea. First thing was to tape around the tiles. I'm going to use slick stick as my primer to make sure my paint holds. I'm going to paint it in burlap to blend it with the wood. We're going to give this a touch of gold in just a second. Okay, so two coats of slick stick and two coats of burlap are dry. Now it's time for protection. We're going with Dixie Bell Flat Clear Coat. I just wanted a matte finish and good protection. For these finishing details, we're going with some gold gilding wax on a stencil. I had to draw gold in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> This piece wouldn't be me if didn't have any gold. And now for my hardware. I got these at TJ Maxx for $7.99. TJ Maxx is killing it right now with the hardware. I definitely suggest every time you go to TJ Maxx, you check for the hardware because you're gonna find some amazing for amazing price. And it was done. like how this piece came out. I really love what Bleach did to this piece. It brought this piece 
to the 2021 and it looks so nice and fresh and you can see all the wood grain and I did had fun creating this piece. I just wanted to tell you that I wouldn't do this in the winter inside for sure. I will never do this inside because my house will smell so much. So I definitely suggest you take this kind of project outside. So this was a really nice and interesting week. We experimented, did something different. I went out of my comfort zone and didn't paint piece for the first time in a lifetime, but I did have fun. But I'm gonna stick to painting. <laughs> I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.